Martin, thanks for joining us. A young Barnet team very impressive here against Peterborough United on Tuesday evening. What did you make from that game and how pleased were you with the involvement of the young boys in that one? I was very pleased and very happy with the, uh, the young players. We had a group of uh, under-21s and I had a few of the youth team from the week before from the Youth Cup. And then on top of that, I was also very pleased and happy, delighted with the attitude of the senior players. You could say, well, they get paid to play and they should always be spot on, but as we all know, we've certainly, certainly seen some uh, attitude of some players over the years, you know, having to play in a game like that with some youth players and all our lads pulled their weight and um, it was a good performance, good performance all round, very pleased. How important is it to be able to blood those young guys in a game where there's less pressure than, say, a league match? Yeah, well, it's getting them training with us as well. Um, I watched the FA Youth Cup last week and I thought the lads done really, really well. So uh, it's given us an opportunity uh, to get training and be on our training pitch with the first team players and, and be with me and be with Ross. And um, I thought we played some fantastic football. We really got the ball down and moved it about. And um, you know, it's, it's the pro. It's long term. It's long term progress. Is the Checker Trade Trophy useful in that respect? That you can give younger guys a chance, and you've we've seen several do really well in those three games. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I suppose we're all a little bit at times frustrated that there's three rounds to play. Knowing that we couldn't go through that last game gave us an opportunity, obviously, to uh, bring those lads in. But I suppose long term for this football club, we need to be bringing those through players through. We have to. So um, I suppose in a, in a way, it was um, it's been a real bonus to have that competition. Fantastic performance by MK Dons. We were unlucky. I thought we played well against Norwich until we went to ten men when we struggled. Uh, we were unlucky against them and then the other night when it was 1-1 we had three great chances to go 2-1 up and we're such a young team, you know, it really was a good effort. And a proud night for the club in terms of the academy side of things as well, 12 of the 18 were under 21 and a lot had come through the academy set up. Yeah, very much so. You know, we've, we've, we've really made a point over the last couple of years of getting to work with, um, especially the under, under 21s that have come up to us, sort of Ross. Um, with you know turning them into professionals and men, um, Henry's he's taken that on with Dean as well. So we've got some fantastic young players coming up. Then on to the next step, a lot of them are out on loan at the moment playing men's football, which I think they need long-term development. And um, you know we've seen Justin score the other night. He came on a Saturday in the first team. Harry Taylor's been doing well for the first team. So the boys are knocking on the door. And, um, you know, and in time, without a shadow of a doubt, we need to reduce the numbers in the first team squad um, and move some of those players on to bring some of those players up to the sharper end. We spoke about him after Tuesday's game, but Dwight Pascal became the youngest player in the club's history. How important is it that he now kicks on and makes makes the most of more opportunities and gets more opportunities? Well, Tom, I think you got it right there. We spoke about him the other night and uh, we've covered that one with his debut and the youngest player in the history of the club. We also have a 17 your old come on after five minutes, which is pretty good. Um, old Payne, so he's been doing alright as well, young lad. They're all getting close, you know. Um, the first team squad are on a good little run at the moment. In the last three league games, we've done really, really well. And uh, all focus has got to be uh, now on those players, on that team for Saturday's game, and getting them all ready and right for the weekend. Looking ahead to Grimsby, what have you made of them so far this season? Um, well, I ain't seen them play. Mm, we ain't got no scouting reports because we ain't got no scouts. Um, we've got some clips off the television, um, some clips off their website of their goals and they scored and conceded. Um, I think about 18 months ago on a Tuesday night, I went down to Eastleigh to watch Grimsby play because we were playing them in, in that year we won the championship and um, when I looked around there was about a thousand, must have a thousand Grimsby supporters all the way down, you know, down by the sea at Southampton <coughs> you know, from the sea up at Grimsby. It was a Tuesday night and I couldn't believe that there were so many supporters. I could not believe it. Um, it was a fantastic, it's a big club, it's been a big club. 
as a club that I sort of hoped would get up and back into the football league. It would probably have been Grimsby. The manager Paul Hurst is a good good bloke. And then of course with uh, Marcus getting his big opportunity to go to Grimsby, where he's done a brilliant job at Solihull Motors, uh, Solihull Moors, and then with the Arsenal ladies football team, he's done a really good job. So he's uh, he's been a good player. Um, I think we all know being a good player doesn't make you a good coach or manager nowadays. That's all changed. So he's done his groundwork, he's done his apprenticeship, and now he's um, he's in charge of a big club, big fan base, passionate fan base. They've got some good players. And finally, what's the latest on the injury front ahead of the weekend? Um, a few of them will be fit, and a few of them won't, and we'll, um, we'll keep that to ourselves for now. Um, Luigi and James Russell are working really hard to get the boys back. The, the players themselves are doing double sessions to try and get back. And um, there's no fresh injuries, but um, we'll have to wait and see how it comes uh, for Saturday lunchtime. Thank you very much, Martin.